everyone, my name is Sean and uh, I'm with Glow3D. In this video, we're going to show you how to use um, Glow3D's latest uh, course for sale extension to be able to import uh, your photos that you captured using Glow3D app directly into your uh, car for sale panel. So uh, that means if you are a Glow3D customer and car for sale customer, uh, you used to need to go to your Glow3D panel, uh, go and download the images, and then come back here and uh, let's say if you had a new page, you needed to upload it. And now we are making that much more simple with the Glow3D extension. So without further ado, let's get over how to use it. So uh, let's say we're at the um, cards for sale panel and uh, we started with adding an inventory. Let's say this is standard. And we put the uh, vehicle ID number and typically it goes through a decipher and now you want to select the photos. And uh, so before you do this, uh, you have done the capture in Glow3D. And uh, before we go over how to select it, I'm gonna go over how to install the extension. So first you need to go to, let's say google.com and search for uh, Chrome uh, extension um, store, right? You just can search that and it'll take you to Chrome web store. From here, you need to search for Glow3D and it will bring you list of extension probably by the time you see, you might see more, but choose cars for sale Glow3D. And here you just click add to the Chrome, you confirm add the extension, you ask for permissions and it adds the Chrome here. So sometimes you may not see it, as you can see here, I do not see it. So if you scroll, if you, if you click on this puzzle icon, it will take you here where you could pin it. So by pinning it, it will actually make sure that it shows on the top uh, here so you can always access it. And uh, the other double check or change you may need to do is that you need to go to your setting, go to downloads, and make sure uh, ask for it to save each file before downloading is off. And this one is also off. So this way we make sure as soon as you click on download, the photos from Glow3D, it is going to download it to your download folder in your Windows. So download folder in your Windows. If you look at the Explorer on the left side, you always see the download folder here where you can click and it will take you to all the downloads uh, that uh, you have had. So um, you make sure that that is off, so the setting is off, so I uh, already have it off. And uh, once we have that, we just log in uh, with your Glow3D username and password. So this is Glow3D, so you need to log in with your Glow3D username and password, or if you have Google, so you need to log in with your Google. So I log in. So once you log in, obviously, if you're not in your car for sale sales account, it's not going to be able to find anything. Um, but this is done for now. So we logged in. So now let's say we're at this page and we're adding a car. So everything we did previously in installing the extension, you just needed to do it the first time. So you install the extension, you log in and it will always be available. So if you have capture and the bin numbers here, if you click on the glow 3D extension, it will start to search in your account to see if Cam could not find this car and you get that message. So now we're here, we have the pin number and let's say there was no image here or we did some changes in Glow3D and we need to delete these or replace these images. So uh, first you need to go here and uh, as you can see, once you click on it, it will automatically detect how many image in, in how many categories in Glow3D found and all you need to do is just click download 25 images. As you can see, it will start downloading all 25 images into your download folder. Once the download is complete, um, from here, if you wanna see all the photos, you can, you, can, you can come and click that and you, can, you will be able to see it. Um, but what you want to do for uploading is select photo, uh, go to your download folder. As you can see, we have created a folder with that bin number uh, that you could actually click on and uh, you will be able to um, choose the photos you want. Um, you have the option of uh, the list or if you like to see them as a large icon so you can see them like this. This way you could choose uh, some of the photos or hold control and choose a few of them or just say control A and um, as you can in here you could just say open and it will automatically load all the photos for you. Uh, it will get all the galleries. So if you need to change the order of um, how these photos are sent, uh, you could always do that by um, going to your Glow3D panel uh, go to setting, go to display order, and uh, FTP and API display order. So here you could you can drag and drop and change the order of the photos. And you could also click on this section where you could also change the order uh, from here of how you would like the photos to be placed, uh, how, how you want them to be numbered. So you could also change the sort of a display order uh, here so that when they are uh, numbered um, and you, you click on upload, 
you will be able to see this order as you can see the way the numbers are done uh, it will be numbered properly and uh, with that said i hope this is going to help you save quite a bit of time uh, for customers that are using both platform great platform both of them and it will help you uh, in preparing a much better online presence for your dealership if you have any questions uh, regarding this video and other video please feel free to reach out to us by emailing us at support at glow3d.com thank you for watching have a good day